with confidence in our armed forces, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph, so help us God. Hello, Bombardier. Okay when you are. Bomb doors open. Bomb doors open, Bombardier. There's no deeper impression on history given than, a, than an actual experience where you can feel what they felt and picture yourself as they did, young men of 18, 19, 20 years old, flying these airplanes and try to imagine that. There's no better way to do that than to actually fly in the airplane rather than try to read it in a book. From setting the airplane up in the morning to closing it up in the afternoon and everything in between, uh, it's up to this little handful of people that, that uh, are passionate about this old airplane. And uh, we uh, answer questions, take people through the cockpit, um, the biggest thing to me in all of this, and I mean, as I said earlier, flying the airplane is, is, an, is a privilege. It's absolutely a privilege. But when I get to meet people who flew these airplanes, and they're 90 years old, plus or minus, that is just absolutely a tiny little sliver, one of the last echoes of World War II that's sort of going off into the distance. And I get to listen to that. Everybody plays a role one way or another. I used to work on the planes was Rosie the Riveter. We always find a fit for everybody and everything everybody does counts on this airplane. It all matters. I flew a B-29, yeah. I was a navigator. I spent many hours sitting in this airplane. I was uh, with the, the uh, 29th Bomb Group out of Guam. I think preserving the B-29, the last only flying B-29 Super Fortress in, exi in existence, is as important as preserving the national anthem. And this is our history. This is everything that makes us who we are, that makes us American. We took a flight to San Francisco from Alvagardo uh, as a tri training flight, that's what it was. We, we got up there and got a radio from the, from the base. And they dropped the bomb and our pilot did one thing. He just said, we're going home. I uh, ended up having 30 missions. I probably spent 2,000 hours in the air, sitting in the cockpit in this airplane. Without the dedicated equipment, and the dedicated volunteers, and the know-how, and the expertise to do it, there's no way that we would be able to continue to fly this airplane without them. I'm not sure that this, but what this is not the most important thing I have ever done in my life. I, I, I absolutely believe that. Only through people, only through veteran stories, does the airplane have a soul and a life that's breathed into it. That's our mission. It's not the airplane, it's the people.